So here's how to replace an image and make sure it's the same size as the original. Let's work on this box here, the blue one in the middle. And let's assume I'd like to change this image in the middle here of the man and the lady. So the first thing I need to do is go and find out what the dimensions of this image are. And if I double click on the image, um, you'll see here you've got the width and the height of the image. If those boxes are empty, just click this little wheel here and it will refresh these dimensions. So note these down on a piece of paper. So we have 148 and we have 111 because we're going to be using that in a second. Now you can just cancel that out. Now we need to go ahead and delete this image. So just click on the image once and click the delete button on your keyboard. The image is going to disappear. Next, click the image icon on the editor, and this is going to bring up the image manager. We'll just go to the web view and find another image. Let's have a look through here. This guy looks like a good looking cat, so we're going to upload that. The next thing we need to do is crop it. And to make sure we're cropping it the right size, we're going to use this width and height input box here to put in the, the um, numbers we noted down just a second ago. And they were 1, 4, 8, and 1, 1, 1. So this gives us our workable area. And we can just drag around this and place it on the part of the image we want. Now don't redrag the size of this because the image isn't going to fit. I then click Apply. That image is going to be the right size to go back into the email. I just click save and the image is going to be dropped into where we were. And there you go, we've replaced the image. Just click save and you're done.